Oh, so okay, Glenn, just everyone to show you uh, Muay Thai combo. So I'm delighted to introduce you to my new friend, Ku Robert here at Florida Muay Thai. Uh, he was very welcoming when I, for my trip to Disney World, said I have a free afternoon. I'd love to fill some episodes with Orlando area martial artists. He was very welcoming and just said, come on down. So very pleased to be here. Uh, we're going to show you a combo that involves the leg kick, so we're going to use the focus mitt and kicking shield today. Okay, so what I'm looking for is uh, I'm going to set it up off of a simple one-two. Uh, in this situation, I like to throw the one-two, the jab cross, with power, all right? Because I want him to mentally or visually and mentally know that that right hand is going to land with power, okay? So what I'll do is I set it up off the one-two. Full power, get set. One, two, boom, boom, full power, get set. Now what I'm gonna do is jab, I shift in ever so slightly, all right? I'm not gonna overcommit to the right hand, I just need it here. All I'm looking for is a flinch out of him. What I need him to do is essentially bring the arms up to turtle up. That's really what I'm looking for here, all right? So I'll shift in here, all right? And I know I got him if he lifts the arms up. If he doesn't lift the arms up, then this is not gonna work. So from here, I'm dropping the, the hand to the front. All my weight is on the front leg. I'm on the ball of the foot. And from here, I'm gonna shoot the liver punch in and up, okay? And most people will throw it down here by the hip or just above the hip. But really, you wanna connect up underneath where the ribs are. You wanna take those front two knuckles and turn that punch over and drive it completely into the ribs. That's the shot that's gonna hurt. And then from here, as I'm pulling the arm back, I want to crash the leg with a low kick. I step so from here, pull the arm back, low kick, and then back to fighting stance and get set. Let's just take a look from this angle so you can see how he's going under my punch. So again, one two, one two, one low, low kick, and then get set. So to give him something to hit, when I see the flinch, I'm going to change this to the hole for the shovel hook. Um, if he doesn't see it, my preference is for him to not just freeze, but to either throw it but not destroy my ribs. Yeah, absolutely. You want, you want to be good to your partner, but you always want to teach yourself to go through with the technique, right? And go through with the technique, always, uh, something I always tell my students is uh, never, never stop, right? Because you always have to have the mindset that you're fighting. And when I say you're always fighting, I mean, you know, not that you're trying to kill your partner you're working with, but don't stop what you're doing. Because if you were in the fight, you're in the ring or you're sparring, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't go, oh wait, stop, crap, okay, I gotta do it again. You, you don't have that kind of time, right? So you just teach yourself to go through with it and just fix it on the next combination. So that's what we're looking for. One, two, one, two, oh crap, and get set. One, two, one, two, one, two. And get set. Boom. So what's one one way to make this more useful for me is rather than prefix it with two, he's gonna prefix it with a random number. So I get used to reading cues, mm -hmm. right? So I get used to differentiating the cross from the fake, right? So, yeah, absolutely. So uh, essentially, what he's talking about is uh, I'll change the striking the way I do it, but essentially you want to set it up off the right hand. So maybe I'll go jab. One, two, right hand, right? But I establish that right hand with power. That's the biggest point here is to land the right hand with power so that he, your opponent, believes, oh crap, he's going to hit me with the right hand. You get him to shell up, to turtle up. And then you half hard to throw the punch, sink the liver in, crash the leg, get set back in your fight stance. Perfect. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, make sure you check out FloridaMoyTai.com, the Instagram feed, the Facebook page. I'll put the links in the video description. And of course, uh, link to this video if you like. Subscribe, comment, uh, and like the video. This is Roy Kick Legend. Keep your chin down, elevate your striking. Mm -hmm.